We got a call from someone from Cash Aid who doesn't have a brain in his head. And he's not an American guy, so... I mean, I guess he probably is an American citizen, but he's not an American guy. So, he was, like, confused about the fact that Loki and I have the same last name and are unrelated. I had to explain it to him three times. I also... I hung up on him because I had to explain to him also multiple times that um, the reason that I don't work is due to health issues. And you're like, well, what's the problem? There's two parents. One of you can work and one of you can take care of the baby. And I was like, I just said I'm too sick. Meanwhile, no one has gotten back to us about the food stamps, which is the thing that we really care about is just the food stamps. I don't understand why they reinstated Cal Works but not Cal Fresh. And I'm probably going to file another hearing because we specifically said we only wanted our food stamps back. We don't want to jump through all the county soups because um, when there's two parents in the household, they want one parent to work 35 hours and the other one to take care of the baby. And here's the thing, is I could probably take care of Lucius. I just, I want to wait <laughs> until he's in, like, a daycare or something. Okay, I, mm -mm, I cannot deal with a whole nother human being for eight hours a day. And I also figured, like, I could try to explain that I work for a craft company based out of North Carolina... But I don't get paid hourly because I get paid on commission. And the person I work for is a personal friend who works three jobs herself and can't afford the hourly rate. And I'm just like, I don't think he would understand. I don't think it would get through his stupid little skull. His stupid little foreign skull. And normally, okay, I don't have that much of an issue. Okay, it's just... When people who are not from America come to work in America and they're, like, working with the public, they're very, like, rulesy, you know? Like, they don't take into account individual human situations despite the fact that they're working with individual humans, and it's very frustrating to me. Yeah, I mean, some people just have different boundaries, I guess, but I think that was kind of an uptight way of saying it. Because, I mean, if you remember, initially, I wasn't going to do smut either, but then we just kind of got into it, and I was like, oh, yeah, let's uh, see what chemistry there is between our characters, and it just evolved like that. But to say, I'm just not that kind of person, I don't know, it sounds really kind of uppity to me. You know what I mean? Like, stuck up. Um... I'm trying to figure out which is the A and W and which is the KFC. Sorry. Uh -uh. Yeah, I get you. I get it that it's not for everyone. And I don't write it if people don't want to write it. It's just that our story, uh, me and my friend who I'm talking about, um, seem to be going a certain way. And I didn't want to like cross any lines or boundaries that they may have. So I just asked. I said, hey do you write smut? And if so, how? Because, you know, our characters look to be getting a little close. And I just want to make sure you're comfy with the way that we write stuff. And that's basically what she said. She sent me a frowny face and said, I don't, I don't write it. I'm not that type of person. And this part isn't about smut. And I was like, okay, that's not what I asked, but all right. Dude, that looks super judgmental. <laughs> like, let's see. This one, not smut, I don't do that. Okay, that's fine. But then the frowny face and the not that kind of person sounds judgy. Dude, to be entirely fair, uh, sometimes you're online and I see that you're active and I ping you like a hundred times and then like you come back and you're like, oh, I was, you know, doing this, that, or the third. Or, like, I'll see you posting stuff, but you're not responding to messages, probably because you're, like, you're scrolling, you don't really have the energy to chat. And so some, like, I don't know, you kind of do the same thing sometimes, but not after we get into an art. Like, usually you and I resolve any kind of disagreements before that happens. So yeah. it's a toss-up. 